Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 10 Game Preview. And today we're going to be going over the Bills versus the Browns. Let's get it started. Who would have thunk it at this point the Bills would have a better record than the Browns? My goodness, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, let's start with the uh, best record, and that's going to be the Bills. Josh Allen, I think, is a start this week. I think that uh, he's a top 10, top 13 play. I think he's going to get some work done on the ground. The Browns are only mediocre against the quarterback, uh, allowing the 16th most fantasy points at 19.3. I think he's going to get some work done on the ground. He's going to run it, throw it. He's not going to throw for too much. Not Probably not going to go too much over 200 yards, but he's going to rush it eight, four to eight times for between – 10 and 45 yards very solid last three rushing attempts or not rushing attempts last three uh yards for the rush 32 45 12 my man can get it done on the ground he also had a touchdown in that 12 game uh, i think he's a good start this week he's definitely playable john brown so the browns are the browns are actually pretty good against the wide receiver but john brown i believe can still get you 12 points 10 10 to 15 points so i got him as a low end wide receiver two high end wide receiver three for me uh, i think he's always a uh, threat downfield he's on the field 88 percent of snaps you love to see that uh keep it moving cole beasley i'm not trying to play unless you're desperate frank gore also not trying to play unless you're desperate got him as a running back three he's been playing pretty terrible these last three games uh seven against miami which was like what and then three against Philly, which you expect because Philly is pretty good. Well, very good against the run and one against Washington. But that's probably because Devin Singletary has been coming in firing. He played, didn't play too much in the Miami game. Only got two fantasy points. But last two uh, against Philly, he got 14. And against uh, Washington, he got 22. He's on the field about half the time. 55% of the snaps. He's playing pretty well. Uh, he's in the receiving game as well. Uh, four receptions, three receptions the last two games. 95 rushing yards and a touchdown. He looked fantastic last week. Uh, one of the spots that you beat the Browns are on the on the grounds. They're allowing 20.5 fantasy points to the running back. That's 10th in the league. I think you should fire up Devin Singletary. I got him as a running back too this week. I also think Knox is a solid play this week as well. Um the Browns allow the seventh most points against the tight end at nine. I think that's pretty solid. You're going to be banking on a touchdown, but I do think that in a desperation play, I think he's okay. Uh, I'm not trying to start him, but like if you don't have anybody on your waiver wire, you're looking for a flyer, Dawson Knox, I think, is a solid flyer. And I think that the Bills defense is going to be very good as well. Uh, opponents going against the, the Browns. 10.8 fantasy points. That's fifth. Uh, and I think the Bills have a very good defense. So Baker Mayfield needs to watch out. All right. Now let's get to. Oh, I actually just noticed I didn't do the spread. So the over under for this game is 40 and a half. That is very low. And the spread is negative three Cleveland, which. They might even lose this game. All right. Let's go to. The Bake Show, who has been playing absolutely terrible. I do not have him as a starter this week. I don't even have him as somebody that I'd like to use as a backup this week. The Bills are fantastic against the quarterback, only allowing the 12.5 12 fantasy points a game. That's the third best in the league. I'm not starting Baker. OBJ, man. When everybody was saying that they were going to the Super Bowl, I was like, man, I have not seen the Browns do well in a long time. I'm really looking forward to that. They definitely did not show up this year. Very disappointing. They have had a rough schedule to start the year, but oof, yikes. And it's not getting any easier because against the Bills, the Bills are the second best uh, defense against the wide receivers. They're great. They're very, very good. Only allowing 14.3. And Baker is trying to get Odell the ball. It's not like Odell's not on the field. He's on the field 97% of times. That's the second most in the league. 
Jarvis Landry on the field 94% of the time. That's fourth most in the league. So they're on the field. They're just not getting work done. And it's not the targets. Last three games that they played, 6, 7, 11. And let's go to Jarvis. 12, 10, or sorry, 13, 10, 5. They're getting targets. They're just not performing. And, uh, I mean, I don't even. Do you bench Odell? If you have somebody good enough, I mean, the problem is it's what you can live with. What what are you going to be okay with? Odell always, always has a chance to get two touchdowns and 120 yards on anybody. He always has a chance. Broken play, somebody trips, or he does one of those Odell-type catches. But I haven't seen much of it this year. They're really just not clicking. Um, we have Kareem Hunt coming in, so hopefully they can get the running game down. And if the running game gets down, maybe the wide receivers open it up. But I'm not really trusting Odell or Jarvis in this game. I think that Odell is a play is playable as a wide receiver too, but that's kind of it at this point. All right, let's go to the running backs. Nick Chubb. Uh, I think Nick Chubb should have a fine game this week. If you're going to beat the Bills somewhere, you're going to beat them on the ground. They're ranked 11th. They're allowing 20 They're allowing twenty fantasy points a game to the running back position. Nick Chubb has looked fantastic. Uh, he's getting the attempts. He had, he's had 20 each of the last three games. 65 yards, 131 yards, 122 yards. Looks fantastic. He's getting his receptions in. Four receptions, one, five. Very solid, very solid. Uh, I think that he's going to be a great play. Fire him up. I have him as a top 10 play for sure. Um, Kareem Hunt coming back. That's one of the things I'm actually going to be watching out for in this game. What's the split? A lot of people are saying he's only going to get five touches. I don't think that you put him on your team to give him five touches personally. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be a 50-50 split between him and Nick Chubb and uh, Kareem Hunt. But I am saying that maybe the first game he gets like five, six touches. But I think over time he's going to move into that 10 to 12 range. And it's going to hurt. Nick Chubb, but I also think that if Kareem Hunt stays healthy, they'll have one of the best backfield duos in the league, and they'll actually be able to have a functioning offense. Uh, I'm not starting their tight end because the Bills destroy tight ends. They're the second best in the league, uh, and you're I'm not starting the Browns defense just because. Even though the Bills are allowing the ninth most fantasy points to the defense, I just I mean you can start them if you want. I try to stay away from the Browns. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to hit me up. Like and subscribe. Check out my the rest of my social media down below. I'm going to do videos on all the other games as well as uh, trade talks that are going to be on this week. Uh, good luck. Have fun. And Fantasy Bay, I'm out.